Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Cabby Cape Classic. I'm your host, Yami no Senshi. And I'm your co-host, Phoenix. And this is the final round of the tournament. If you remember, Bowser was disqualified in the second round due to being locked inside a safe by his team. So it's the first time we are seeing the experimental doubles tournament in the Bean Hunt. Our stars for today are Mario and Luigi. They have been very promising so far. This last course is a par 11, and we're hoping they can get a full score on it. They've found their way under the rock, found the first bean. Very difficult course. As you know, other competitors have tried to smash the rock, leading to the medics having to treat 17 contestants for broken fists. Four of them were arrested for attempting to burn down that tree. But with their subterranean attack, the brothers seem to be making their way through the course quite handily. Well, that's another score for them. Those beans will come in real handy for the next event, beating the shit out of things. Couldn't quite avoid that Goomba, but they seem to have made short work of him. Well, their technique of avoiding most of the obstacles on the course seems to be working out. Sometimes just murder seems to be the most appropriate form. And oh, that's, that's gonna cost him some time. Yeah, that jump was just a little bit too high. They're gonna have to go around and go up the stairs now. As you know, their key competition comes from the Toad Town Hunters. The team comprised of 43 identical toads. Unfortunately, they've had a rather poor showing this event, due to the fact that they've been stuck indoors 18 times. Oh, they've found another one. Making good time so far. Really racking up the points today. It's unfortunate we only had 11 beans, because anyone coming after them is not going to be able to find any. We might have to rethink the winner-takes-all format for the next event of the bean hunt. They are so confident, they are just stopping in place and letting their opponents catch up. just heard in that Team Fawful has also been disqualified. Rule 37B clearly dictates that you cannot have an Axis of Fury. Um, his score of 43 Pico Angers is just too much for the judges. Mario and Luigi have been able to keep their anger level down by consuming a variety of pastas before the tournament. And also the 14 course meal made entirely of mushrooms. Uh, as you know, psychedelic drugs have not yet been banned by the judges. I think we're coming into the home stretch now. Handful of beans left. And they're into the 
crashed ship section of this course. I have no idea how any of these ships got here, though. Here we are. Coming up on the last one. That'll do it. Mario Brothers take the prize. With a perfect score of 11.